Hello, Brian Denuzzo. This is uh, Roberto and Carlos, and um, I promised that we were going to be showing a little bit of uh, what we have so far. This is just uh, an idea. It, it's all code, but we're just going to show you a couple windows that we have created before the meeting that we had with you the other day. And um, what we're going to see now, this is uh, uh, the platform that we're using. That is a main window. It's an idea of a main window. We are still... Uh, don't really sure. We're not really sure what we're going to be doing. If you if you can see, there's an add tutor. There's an add student tutor report and a student report also. I guess we're going to be using add student as a registration uh, of form for what we have as a as a homework, and we're going to be showing it to you later as a proper application uh, in two weeks. As you can see, there are three fields to input information from a student. There's an ID which is there will be more of course and that that will be the primary key there's a first name and last name and then when the student has inputted his information he could actually do a search of the um to the sessions uh, available and uh, during the period of time that's the first window we can add a tutor this is going to be the tutor information where it's going to be including the tutor ID, first name, last name. And then, of course, there are the uh, selection of courses. These, are, these uh, windows don't actually work. These are just uh, um, layouts of uh, images of what we're going to be working on. And then you can select the day and all. That's one more option. Tutor report. That also will have a couple of uh, uh, options for the tutor to. Um, uh, report uh, information about the sessions with the students and there's also the student report uh, same thing with tutor and student report also will have uh, some information about the sessions with the respective uh, tutor we can close that we're gonna go to a different um, a window we wanted to show you something that might interest you when it comes to student trying to uh, log into the system. This could be also uh, one option for um, a registration from a student. There's a student ID, first name, last name, address, email. I know there are, there's, there are more fields that we have to include, but this might be just an idea of how it, it could look like in, uh, in the future. So there's a student ID. You can input in a student ID. Yeah, the first semester, sure. And a year ID could be 10 10 4 4 4 if you like first name could be uh, Robert De Niro last name will be De Niro good job address um, Beverly Hills and uh, LA and email De Niro Al Pacino all right perfect so we're gonna register uh, that student and it has been successfully added to the system. All right, let's say we, um, this student, we close that window and we also close the uh, platform that we use to create uh, that window. By the way, you don't need, well, this is just uh, the way it's compiled by the platform. As an application, it's just an icon that you're gonna have in, on, on your desktop. And we came back to the same uh, uh, platform there's another semester maybe a, a couple a, a year later a student comes back and he wants to uh, uh, register for a couple more uh, uh, tutoring center ses sessions all right no problem we uh, just input his uh, last of uh, a student ID which was 444 and and once we uh, enter that we're gonna find that his information is in the system because it's been stored in a database in the program not in even half a second you have all the information available for you you can edit uh, the fields you maybe change your address you change your email maybe you change your name your name it's it uh, Al Pacino now instead of De Niro mm -hmm. and um, and then you're gonna register again if you like and that is gonna be saved in the database in the program that you, we're gonna be uh, producing for you guys I think we have another window you might want to take a look at and this is gonna be alrighty this is gonna be the selection of the uh, uh, classes that the student uh, might want to have an interest on having a uh, uh, tutor sessions 
say the student has problems with math or English. Let's say math. Math, uh, um, which one's algebra? College algebra. College algebra. All right, we could use that also. Yeah. All right. Let's say we, he doesn't know the math uh, 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 code number, so he goes for college algebra. There you go. So uh, the field which is gonna so uh, as we type the field which is which shows uh, all the information on the courses, it's gonna look for the matches of the uh, what the student is typing onto onto the uh, search field. So calculus. Little by little, it's gonna give you all the matches that uh, are consistent to the uh, information provided by the student. Let's say English, um, basic English foundations. That's perfect. Basic writing and everything. By the way, we had to input all this information into this system, and it was hard work, but it's fun. <laughs> and that's plenty of code. And it's also plenty of work, but we know this is a professional uh, uh, application, and we're ready to and willing to uh, uh, do all the needed code for for this. I think this is about it, and uh, it's just a little bit of something that we actually had ready before we met with you uh, that day. So, and we didn't have obviously uh, uh, the <laughs> the uh, the proper uh, equipment to make it work, but. Uh, it it, it 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 all works with certain system but when once you have an executable it's gonna work everywhere and uh well thanks for your time i think we're gonna be seeing you soon and i hope you have a nice weekend thank, thank you. you thank you brian bye